Welcome to the final episode of our Legacy of Goku 2 playthrough. This special bonus episode, episode 31, features Hercule Satan, which I'm really excited to play as, even though, well, I'll show you more or less. I've been playing out of, as him for like the last several hours, and it's been really, really obnoxious because I had to get him to level 50, but I wanted to show you a couple things. So the first thing is that Hercule doesn't have any uh, power-ups. He just has one particular move, uh, which is this one. It is a time-stopping move, which allows you to take advantage completely, as you'd imagine. And this is how you can pretty much get to, to level 50, is you have to time-stop and then beat all the enemies. Now, you're going to notice, though, that at level 50, his strength, when maxed out, like, he does, like, damage on the same level as a Saiyan, so it's pretty impressive. Haha, <laughs> so dumb. The other thing that I like about Hercule is his uh, run animations. You're going to notice <laughs> he runs with his mouth open and leaves a dirt trail behind him as well. So for your body, look at this. So you can see his mouth opening from side to side like this, but also when you're going straight down, his mouth is just largely ajar. I need a, a bigger area to run. <laughs> so stupid. You can't really see the dirt on the backdrop here because it's it's dark, but we're going to go to West City right now and we're going to unlock his level 50 door. Oh, uh, God. I did not do this as a kid because there's no way I would have had the patience back then. But let's go fly over to, uh, let's see, West City. All right, and then I think that we can just go directly over to the right. We can go into ZZTV. Sometimes I think about leaving the nuclear business and moving to Papaya Island. That would be the life. There is nothing like relaxing on the beach. Okay, let's see. So you can see the dirt trail that he leaves behind and his mouth being wide open. Unfortunately, I was hoping that there would be additional dialogue that some of the NPCs would have uh, when speaking to Hercule, but they don't really seem to recognize that it's Hercule. Or whether they do or don't isn't the point. There just isn't any programmable dialogue that, uh, that indicates that they're talking to Hercule. It's the same dialogue no matter what. All right, popping in is easy TV. Let's see what's going on in here. CZ TV Studios. Bunch of cameramen, a very large audience. <laughs> Rob. Good evening and welcome to Late Night with Rob Howard. Our guest tonight will be Hercule, hero of the Cell Games. <laughs> oh yeah. Who loves you and who do you love? <laughs> I can't do her good voice very well. Crowd's all cheering his name and all that good stuff. <laughs> the punches and the kicks. I freaking love that. How's it going, Rob? Hello, Hercule. Now, the first question I have to ask you is, how does it feel to have saved the entire world? It feels great. You know that being uh, the greatest martial artist on the planet takes a lot of hard work and dedication. My uncle once told me, with awesome muscles comes the burden of awesome duty. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense, for one. That's like the biggest ripoff of uh, Uncle Ben I've ever heard. So when I heard about how Cell was absorbing all those people and wreaking havoc across the world, I knew it was my duty to do something about it. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> just comes up and just that kick. Oh my god. I hate to ask you this question, but I have to do it. A lot of your critics claim that you didn't really defeat Cell. What do you have to say to that? Uh, I defeated Cell and that's that. Makes me sick that these people have nothing else to do but make up lies about me. Why would I say I defeated Cell if I didn't do it? And if I didn't defeat Cell, who did? All I have to say is that I'd love to see any of these punks who are disrespecting me survive in one round with the champ. That's the funny thing, is like, we give Hercule such a hard time because the character is obviously comic relief and a joke, but yeah, for a human being without any powers, he is very, very capable. He is a martial artist and he does know what he's doing. It's just, when you put him up against characters in the Z Fighter lineup, it's like, of course he's gonna look like a chump. Um, of course, he also lied about the Cell games, but, you know, what do you expect? Uh, what about those strange fighters who could turn their hair gold? What about that little boy? That was all parlor tricks. It was done with mirrors and laser lights and sleight of hand. Any cheap magician could do that. I see, so tell me now that you've saved the world, what's next? Well, Rob, as always, I'm going to continue training and running my dojo. Every day I run 20 laps, I do 500 push-ups, 500 sit-ups, and I break 20 heavy rocks. And of course, I'm still going to be out there protecting the world. Wherever evil rears its ugly head, I'll be there. Yeah! <laughs> That's so ridiculous. Oh, man. Well, 
there it is. That's that's the end. Uh, after this uh, end of credit scene, it jumps right into Trunks taking on the androids again, and just it goes in an infinite loop. But that's it. The only thing we didn't do in this game was collect all the twenty-five gold capsules. But there's no point. I don't really care to do that. I think I got nineteen or twenty of them. I'm, I'm not going to do any more than that. It was just. Yeah, it wasn't worth my time. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this Legacy of Goku 2 playthrough. The game is significantly better over its predecessor. Obviously, since we had 10 episodes of Legacy of Goku 1, and that was boring AF. And then this, I mean, this is a 30th, well, 31st, uh, if you count it as a bonus episode, uh, of the Legacy of Goku 2 uh, within the entire playthrough. So uh, there's a lot more to do. It's a lot more fun. There's a lot more thought and effort put into this. But we're looking forward to seeing what happens in the third and final piece of the trilogy of Boo's Fury. We're going to be doing that next, starting tomorrow, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, right here on the Mark and 9 channel. Uh, before you go, likes, comments, and subscriptions to the channel all help grow, and it helps me uh, understand what it is that you like uh, and what you don't like. So if you have any feedback, let me hear it. If you don't, thumbs up would be cool. If not, no worries. I hope to see you tomorrow when we continue on playing some Dragon Ball Classics with uh, Boo's Fury. So, anyway, thanks again for your time, guys. Take care of yourself, be well, and I will see you then. All right, later.